Molly. Here's on the hood, Molly. homie. That's right. Hood. Speaking of Molly Walk, that's what Golden State usually does to every team. But Clay Thompson, how about this? He's going to start off the game and start off with an injury. He actually dislocates his finger. And I know if you are oh, a Golden uh, State fan. Hey. My it's Auntie like Jan Jan got a finger like that, but it's on her pinky. Hey, Auntie Jan Jan, you see how you your nephew do it? <laughs> <laughs> he said you be doing all different type of handshakes and stuff like that, but that's Auntie your nephew. What? I see Jan Jan, that's how she drink her coffee. I see Jan Jan got some crooked fingers. <laughs> okay. Yep, Shout out to Auntie Jan Jan with the messed up hand. Auntie Jan Jan. <laughs> so she can't wear a ring on that One hand. One finger. Auntie <laughs> Jan Jan can't wear a ring. <laughs> got that Kirk Rubbers. <laughs> wear rings on her thumbs. Cause, you wrong, dog. It's hella strong, now. <laughs> <laughs> it's hella strong. Oh, <laughs> uh, Auntie Jan Jan, this is your nephew. Anyway, go to state. Curry, you know what he's going to do. Uh, bang! Pull the best skeet shooter in the business. Skeet shooter in the business. Joe Ingles, y'all hear me talk? Yeah, mate. Trash. Yeah, I mate. Court. I love his game. But can Utah stick in the game tonight, Smith? Bang! This is a good game, man. Yeah, from the corner. And Utah, a lot of these teams are going to turn up how they play. We know after All Star break, maybe Utah. Oh, oh my God! Okay. Oh, that was that? a Wait. sick Smitty that's right there. A, a, oh, was that a Smitty by mistake? Or? Yeah, that was like a Euro Smitty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, off the right foot, Andre Iguodala dimes for on the dimes. dunk. Mm. Clay Thompson, you know he came back in the game. You thought you was going to stop him. And look at the oh. attack of the boys and the big fella. Now, what I like about the Golden State team is they have that switch. The game was close, and they just hit that switch, and things like this happen. Bop! Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a three. A <laughs> How about this? It was part of, you talked about that switch. Ah, it was a ah, 20. Go, get it, go. Get it, Riley. It was a 20 to oh. 4 run. I guess you call that a Molly Wap, huh? Right, yeah. Yeah, that's what, that's what. Molly Wap. Uh, yeah. Three point land. Yeah, it is. You want to see more from the three point? Oh, got him. Take KD. that. Take that. Oh. Can I get one? Mm -hmm. I love how they close games. Yeah, how do you stop that? And talking about turning on that switch, K Durant. You talked about this earlier, Shaq, the fact that whoever has the hot hand because of the respect. So it's going to be Thompson if he has the hot hand. If not you, Cousins, we'll get you the ball. Curry, your turn. Nah, Durant, you take the ball. And it's hard to stop a team like that that's and sharing you, the rock so much. And then you got the others that's willing to sacrifice. You got Ray Mom who hardly take any shots, take charges. You got, uh, you know. Mm. You got Livingston, you know, you got guys that want to be there and want to sacrifice and want to win. And that's why they're unstoppable. Because of respect and how they play. Yeah. And it's all about creating a legacy, I think. Everybody has a legacy. UCLA, Tennessee, you know, Michigan, and you at LSU. You saw what your uh, Tigers did today? Yeah, we beat Kentucky. That's what we do. Oh, you're that nice? Yeah, uh, nice? I lost the bet. We had a bet. We, we didn't know. But, uh, yeah, we nice. Uh, yeah, y you, you knew y'all won right there. Well, how about this? Okay, LSU. Okay, LSU. So, bad. four ain't bad. So, bad. what you talking about doing the tournament? Later. I know we're not the tournament yeah, time yet. Y'all sweet. Not impressed. Yeah, not impressed. impressed. Who are you impressed with, Candace? Uh, did you see who's on top? No, who's on top? Uh, Tennessee. Oh, Tennessee? Yeah, the for Vols? The, for the, for the fifth. Who cares? Who cares? For the fifth. What? Yeah, but it don't. Allen Houston ain't one, watching three, three, four, that four, building. Fifth. Don't make me interrupt. Candace, WFD. Oh, Clay's figure look like Shaq's big toe. OK, Tubbs. That look like his pink. Who told you that, Tubbs? Your mama? <laughs> yeah, Tubbs. <laughs> your mama joke. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, oh, that's right. I probably Tubbs, mama, you need some grass in your yard. Sorry, mama. <laughs> I don't want to talk about nobody else, mama. Oh, man. I ain't going to talk about your mama, Tubbs. Oh, man, look, we got tons more to come up with players only. But before, let, let me oh, oh, that's not oh, your foot. God. Look, 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 look at that. Look at that baby nail. Look like a, uh, like a. He puts the like fun in fungus. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> That's not fun, that's 28,000 points. That's hey, hey, BD, shout her out. What's your ass name again? I mean, we go. We can, what's your ass name again? Auntie Jan Jan. I love you, Auntie Jan. Don't they say on Candace. Star Wars? So she be holding that V on Star Wars. This, is, this means war, Candace. And that ain't strong, no, man. Players only. Yeah, that's right. That's Baron Davis, bobblehead. Look how people Ooh. treat you. Hey. <laughs> Yo, Tell Zeke. How you feel, Zeke. What is going on, dog? That's how you feel, Zeke? <laughs> yeah. Got my dog. Oh, my God. Randy Moss. Oh, no, that's oh, Baron Day. Like, oh, Spicy he's going to the oh. <laughs> hey, he broke his feet on his <laughs> Yeah, Zeke, Zeke well, players yeah, only, Zeke. baby. Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Welcome to the players only <laughs> halftime. Zeke slap me like that. <laughs> Report. <laughs>
<laughs> make you feel bad, though. Uh, presented by American Express. See, we up here. You got Candace, we got Shaq, and our man Baron Davis, who just got smacked <laughs> by Isaiah out there. Can I get a t shirt, man? That was fun. Some, got t shirts, bobblehead dolls. Well, I got the hiccups. Anyway, uh, let's get to our American Express teammates, guys. New Orleans Pelicans tonight. Anthony Davis. <laughs> He only had three points. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, Shaq, you got to go. Yeah, you see me over here choking, Shaq? You ain't going to help my me? Bad. My bad. No, but uh, tonight, guys, we saw what the Pelicans did. And when you look at Anthony Davis or when you look at this team and, and how they played, I mean, where do you go for the answers? Let's get out to the highlights. And you're going to see in the beginning of the game, Augustine, he's going to drive and this kick it to Isaac. He's going to knock it down. How about this? Let's, let's just show them running the Pelicans out the building. Fournier with the layup. Okay, we're not finished yet. Mm. Oh, yeah. Vucevic, bam, the fadeaway. Listen, that leader said he don't want to be there. It's obviously that they're laying down like little puppies. They don't want to play. You know, he's 0 for 9, so you have to question whether he really cares or not. He had a pretty good performance the other day when he got booed, but he's the type that when you underestimate them make a player's game but listen they know they're not going to the playoffs they know that they're not going anywhere they know it's going to be a different team next year so they just trying not to get hurt uh, i mean they were down 22 at the end of the first quarter uh again uh, davis 0 for 6 in the first half one for nine in the game bd do you think that this could change after the all-star break with guys getting a little bit of rest or it's probably only going to get worse from here no i think you know I oh. think new orleans had a chance right um, and, you know, throughout all the hoopla and all the trade rumors and things like that, they had a chance to kind of build some momentum either way. And I think that uh, now the momentum is going down because when you got a, a star player like that and he don't want to be there, uh, it deflates everybody else. Like, how does, how does Drew Holiday, you know, come, come to the game ready to lead and ready to play? And then every, all, all the other veterans, right? We rely on Anthony Davis. He's our anchor. He's our franchise player. He does not want to be here. I said this to the people in New Orleans uh, two weeks ago. The best thing to do was to move him and get people in there that would be exciting and players that would be exciting that you can build momentum. Now you don't have anything. You know, Candace, uh, they got a call from the league saying, listen, we, we heard you thinking about sitting Davis down. And if you do, for every game you sit him down, it's going to be a $100,000 fine. Uh, what, what do you think about that scenario? For, and especially if you're the Pels. Well, I think it's a business first. And what drives the business, obviously, is fans. And fans don't want to go see the Pelicans play without a star player behind them and Anthony Davis. But I think we look at the Pelicans now, and it's like, what's the incentive? There was no incentive to really trade him because they want to tank. You want a top draft pick. And so I think this kind of plays into the hands of what they're trying to do. Obviously, it looks bad from optics, mm -hmm. but in terms of them getting a high draft pick as well as getting something back for Anthony Davis in the summer, I think it's beneficial to the Pelicans. Yeah, and for me, it's just weird seeing Anthony Davis be in a position where he's the bad guy. I mean, he's always been a good guy on and off the court, and since he kind of let them know that, hey, I don't want to be here, that's kind of what he's going to be dealing with this year. And Shaq, you, you've kind of gone through it, fair and unfair criticism. What would be your advice to a guy like AD right now, being in this position, knowing that you may not win, but at the same time, you have to finish out your obligation, as Candace talked about? You know, sometimes you have to be the bad guy, but uh, overall, you have to control your destiny. And he's given them seven years. He doesn't want to be there anymore. He wants to try to move to a contender. Uh, I think they, they did it a little too fast, a little too, too quickly, and it didn't work out his way. It's just, you know, part of the business. It's unfortunate that when we say we want to move, oh, we were, this, we're disgruntled, we're this and that, but then they move us in the middle of the night without even telling us that we got to, you know, yeah. uproot our families and do something different. So. My advice to him is don't even worry about it. It's the business of basketball. Just continue to play your game. But you can't have games like this, because if you have games like this, then people are going to be like, see, he's, he's not even trying hard. So if I was him, I'm trying to get 30, 40 every night to let you know that I'm still this player, and you're going to have to make a decision this summer. Well, you heard it right there, AD. That's the advice for Shaq. Just get SNL Shaq-like <laughs> numbers. <laughs> yeah, Aaron, you listening to you. I had hiccups. What, I can't have hiccups? Player only hiccups, baby. That's how we do. We keep it real on the air. You know Shaq what I mean? wasn't about to help. Yeah, Shaq wasn't help. I was about to choke over here. You want to see me choke? Hey, Baron Davis. This smack is Isaiah Thomas. All on the floor. Smack that all on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> look, how you, look, he even broke the bottom of his ah, foot. Oh, like a, a foot there. He broke your ankle.
He mad he ain't. Ooh, can we he get mad he not sitting up here no more. That's Dang, BD, can I get a got, shirt? They got the shirt. He mad he not sitting here. That's cool, Zeke. I'm gonna get your bobblehead. I'm gonna <laughs> smack it too. Yeah, call us up here. <laughs> Texas, we'll send you a BD shirt. Sorry. Can BD Welcome to Yeah, how did you lose it so fast? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, you know, I got, I got scared on air. I'm on air. That's the scared him, scared him right off of me. I ain't want to keep it going. Oh, yeah, Dr. Neal, how do I get the hiccups? Well, you get the hiccups from the right orbital tadabo, which is related to the left orbital tadabo, uh -huh. and the air compastuates through the vocal cords there being stuck, therefore being delighted and diphenomized, and therefore out the air of the trap. Uh, I know you're a bad man. You big facts. I know you're the bad big man. facts. And doctors, we take tweets too. Yeah. So if that was wrong, please tweet us. You know what the hiccups are. But I know you're the man, Big right. Shaq. You're welcome. Did that. Yeah. Last week you ate uh, Candace's cookie, and this week you're telling us how I got the hiccups. Candace, well, why did, we bring Candace the didn't see me in her, in her cookie. So. <laughs> <laughs> Players only, baby. Welcome to the Players Only Halftime Report presented by American Express. I'm Chris Webber. We got Shaquille O'Neal. We got Candace the Senator Parker. And we got our man, Baron Davis. Shaq told me to say that. Candace, I wasn't trying to put you out like that. But hey, we heard a lot of talk, guys, about the Celtics and the fact how it might be uh, not so much love in the locker room, but the way they're playing tonight, you really can't tell what's going on behind the scenes. Well, BD, man, you made a, a great point in the back when we were just watching and we were talking about Hayward. Uh, tell the people kind of your thoughts on, on Hayward and how you like to see him kind of play. Yeah, I think for, uh, for me, Gordon Hayward is a player, right? And when you're in a system like this and with the Celtics, they got a lot of players at his position, but he handles the ball. In Utah, they had him handling the ball, posting up, coming off down screens. I think in order for the Celtics to be an elite team, you got to move this guy around. As you see how he handles the ball coming off the pick and roll, you know, spotting up. We like all the jumpers, but I like him having the ball in his hand making plays. You have another playmaker in Gordon Hayward, and I think that this team, uh, this Boston Celtics team, could benefit by moving him around the perimeter and letting him have access to making plays and having the ball. Yeah, just not just, just find his own spot and shoot, but kind of, yeah, be the man with the ball that he came there for. Candace, why are you looking at me well, like I know, that? She's just impressed. She's no, so I'm uh, impressed, but I, I feel like BD <laughs> is really going to love this next clip that, that I pulled because it's TJ McConnell and his contribution <laughs> to the 76ers. Obviously, you see him. Uh, Other players are getting a lot of attention. He gets to the lane. He's three of four from the anybody, field in the first yeah. half. You know what? He stretches the defense, can stretch the floor, knock down the three-point shot. Do and guess what, BD? My cousin We got hustle. <laughs> Look at him run back and get, a, get oh, on man. defense. He, he bites it. Okay. Hey, I know, Second I know effort, a third effort. And then watch this. Watch this, BD. He gets hyped. Uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, oh, I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, oh, I'm ready. Oh, oh, hey, he's the Michael Phelps. I like the blue collar because the Sixers are going to eat. He plays hard, though. BD. Huh? He plays hard. No, no, no. Oh. I, no it's my homeboy is always in the group text talking about how great T.J. McConnell is. I have no, you know, disrespect for him. You play hard, but anybody can do that. <laughs> anybody can do that. Anybody, right? Tell us how you feel. Well, now it's no time disrespect. for... No disrespect. No, no disrespect. I'll just how you feel. No, it's time scared. for the American <laughs> Express teammates. And, and guys, tonight you saw Jimmy Butler kind of getting off early attack in the bucket. Uh, Embiid, uh, Shaq, not uh, knocking down the shots, uh, all the shots, but I know you like seeing the big man go to work inside, and you feel he should keep getting those touches. Yeah, I think he should keep getting touches, but he, he needs to stop settling for catching the ball deep. You know, like you, you always used to go to the post and then pop out. He definitely needs to get to the post. This is my guy right here. You rang! Oh, great passer. You know, he's not going to give you much, but when he's in there, you got to use him. He's a great rebounder, great shot blocker. He can give and eat the rest that he needs. Look at that rebound. Where'd he get right. up? You rang. Oh, oh, oh. Like, box out. Get cool. it. Take a power dribble. Kick it out. And this right here, Embiid, he needs to do this if he wants to become a more dominant player. Uh, you know, Elton Brand, you know, put, put some uh, more heavy weights on the shoulder so he's the most talented big man he's seen since Wilt and Kareem. I agree with him, but he has to stay down there, not shooting jumpers. Wow, he said he's the most. Yeah, that's talented. what he said. But he didn't see Will or Kareem, so. No, he said uh, I played against Shaq in his prime, and I played against Dave in his prime, and Embiid is better. Wow, that's a that's a heck of a compliment right that's there. Right. Now, hey, you gotta love. Now you gotta game. live up to it. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> the new school, old school. Oh man, I'm always 
envy Baron Davis's beard. It's a, it's a weave. He's the first man yeah, with a, with a face weave. Right here. <laughs> That's a face weave. That ain't real. Go ahead and pose for the camera. He's oh, a model sweet. anyway. Players only, Baron Davis. He got a beard. Anybody can have Welcome a beard. to the American Express Halftime Report. American Express, the official card of the NBA. Time 